Manchester United then return to the Barclays Premier League this weekend, uh, home to West Ham, and another difficult prospect for Manchester United as we look to get back to winning ways after a couple of stalemates, uh, one in the Champions League and obviously that one against Leicester. Really, really, this is a massive game for Manchester United. Really got to be looking to win this game or else even challenging for the title will be looking bleak. Uh, we can't afford to slip off any more than we have. Uh, we've won a couple of games and then we've obviously slipped up uh, against Leicester where I was really disappointed and I thought that Leicester were there for the taking, to be honest. We didn't give them many chances and, to be honest, we didn't create enough ourselves. We've really got to be creating more chances and I think that there should in this game be some changes for Manchester United. Got to change a few players around, I think. And uh, really, Louis van Gaal needs to be looking at his tactics because going into this game, West Ham on really, they didn't play particularly well, especially second half against West Brom. First half, they should have got the game wrapped up for me. I watched them the other week, that week, last weekend, and really should have got the game wrapped up. But they didn't. They got quality free kick in the first half, but didn't, didn't do enough to kill the game off. And uh, West Brom come back into it and drew 1-1. So, to be honest, West Ham have slipped off a little bit. Uh, and that's, that was expectable. I mean, they weren't going to continue to to be winning games like they were winning. Uh, they've won a, 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 the most toughest of, of uh, teams this season. Old Trafford's the only one they haven't won out, in, out the big sides. Uh, winning at Anfield. Um, also winning at the Atihad uh, and the Emirates Stadium. So, they've done the three big... Uh, stadiums now it's on to Old Trafford hopefully they don't get a victory at Old Trafford this weekend uh, Poirier uh, their main man is out injured still so uh, that is actually good news for Manchester United that he cannot play don't want to see a player injured but um, it's a plus that he cannot actually be uh, in the game because he's been fantastic for West Ham this season and for me would be their main threat uh, they're probably going to continue with Andy Carroll up front who uh, didn't have the best of games against West Brom at all uh, he would probably be, for me, probably their, their biggest threat up front. Uh, if they um, lump balls up to him, could get a, a knockdown or something, but he really uh, would be a worry for me uh, going into this game. But apart from that, I didn't really think too much. Uh, didn't, I didn't see too much from West Ham, uh, especially that second half uh, against West Brom that would really cause us that much threat, um, considering our defence uh, has pretty, been pretty decent. I mean... It, it did let in that goal uh, sloppily against uh, Leicester. But on the whole, lately, we haven't been too bad. I know we haven't been tested uh, overly. Uh, going into this game, uh, Wayne Rooney was taken off, obviously, in that game against Leicester. Uh, some newspapers are saying that he's got a foot injury. I know he did take a gash to the side in that game. I think that was why Louis Van Gaal took him off. But not too sure if he's... Uh, I presume he is fit. I, don't, I really don't know, but... Uh, I would like to see Wayne Rooney drop to the bench for this game. Uh, I've been backing Wayne Rooney to come good for the last few months, but lately he's been really, really poor. That game is probably no better than a 3 out of 10. Uh, that was one, probably one of his worst games of the season. After only a couple of weeks ago, he put in probably his best performance of the season uh, against France uh, for England. So I, I keep thinking maybe he will come and score a few goals, but it's just not happening. And in this game, we've obviously got a few injuries. Marcus Rojo probably will be out. So it looks like Paddy McNair. I would personally put Paddy McNair uh, alongside uh, Chris Smalling. And then I'll put Darwin and Blind uh, at left back and right back respectively. Uh, I think we've got to go back to the, the back four. The back three hasn't worked for Manchester United. I think we get too exposed. You've got to have two really good wing backs, uh, the likes of Cafu sort of. Uh, type wing backs to, to play that role or a Burr Carlos type players and uh, I, I just don't think it works at all for Manchester United and I would go back to the back four there uh, I presume Herrera's out injured so Herrera will not play so for me again Schweinsteiger and Schneider they're going to have to play in that in that midfield there uh, on the on the wings I would put certainly put Matter uh, on the wing he was he has been quiet the last few games but hopefully he can come good uh, again <laughs> Uh, because we really do need it. Um, he will probably put Martial or, on the other wing. Um, I'm not too sure. I'll probably put Ashley Young on the other side. Uh, and put. Him. I, I would like to see us play two, two forwards up front. 
uh, and I'd like to see Memphis Depay uh, and Martial up front. I really want to see Martial given a, a run of games up front. I know he was criticised by Paul Scholes, hasn't scored uh, many goals lately. I think he scored one goal in about his last 15 games for club and country, which hasn't been good enough from him. He started off his Manchester United career well, but it has gone a bit sour in the last few games, so he really does need to pick it up because I know he's only a young player, but Manchester United really need someone to come to the, the front here, take games by the scruff of the net, score some goals because we're really lacking goals. I don't think there's going to be many goals in this game. Uh, hoping we can get the win. I could, if, if this game ended a draw or West Ham won, I wouldn't be shocked at all. I'm going to hope that Manchester United nick it. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Manchester United victory. Probably more goals than there will be in the game because we just are not scoring goals in this game. Hopefully we can get back to, to back to winning ways, uh, play a bit better football uh, than we have been playing. But I think if we can get Martial up front, uh, he probably will start taking some chances. He did have a couple against PSV where he could have scored. Hopefully then we will start seeing a bit better Manchester United because we've got Wolfsburg on the horizon next after this game. So we've really got to get back to winning ways. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know your thoughts on the on the game coming up, uh, how do you think it's going to go, uh, do you think Wayne Rooney should even be in the squad for this game, uh, who do you think we should start striker, I mean what sort of team would you go for, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll talk to you all again soon, see ya.